All right, so for step one, get yourself a servo. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take apart the case. Focus, okay. And you're going to take this little plug that goes into the receiver, like this one that you'd plug the servo into. Take that and take out the white wire. And then you solder the red and the black onto the bottom of the motor. And I used a clear servo so everybody can see that. See how I got it soldered right there where my thumb is? Right there and right up here. And the, those are going to be your uh, 5 volt. So after you do, after you get that all set up, I don't, I don't disconnect the motor at all. I've seen people do it both ways where they disconnect the motor and take it out completely. But I like the idea of the motor being in there because then it has like an auto return. And then when it comes to your H bridge, and this is the uh, L298 N. I don't know where my piece of paper is, but it's in... I already mentioned it. So then you have your your power line power wires and you can hook up to what 20 20 to 30 volts. So and then it's labeled here positive and ground. And then you hook up your motor just like that. And then right back here you've got a little let me move that. You'll see where it says 5 volt. So you're going to run one wire there over to here, which is that's that's enable right there. You're going to run that there. And then you have your receiver. Sorry guys, I'm doing this one-handed. So you're going to grab your receiver. And you're going to plug in your steering servo into channel 1. And you have to have another power source. So I have a 7.2. I don't know what kind of battery it is. I got it with a whole bunch of other crap. And then you're going to plug it in. So black is on this side. Red is in the middle. And then this side is your signal wire, your positive, and then your negative. You're going to hook it up just like that. You're going to hear the servo go bzz, bzz, bzz. Okay. And then the wires that you soldered from the motor are going to plug into N1 and N2. So there's N1 and N2. And it doesn't matter which is negative and which is positive. You're just going to plug it in. Just like so. Now this right here is a 14.8 volt battery. And we're going to plug it in. Uh, try and do this one handed here. Oh, come on. There we go. And then it'll light up just like that. Whoa, I already have my transmitter on. Then you turn on your transmitter. I'm going to lay it down so I can hold the motor one-handed. And it moves with the servo. It's going to turn the opposite direction. It's kind of hard to tell with the tape. pretty cool and that's that's how you wire it in now if you were to take a a car windshield wiper motor and hook it here and here and you have a big enough battery to run it you could make a big steering servo 
and that's and that's how you do it with this one here. If I had the steering servo, it would or the uh, sorry the windshield wiper motor. I could show you guys the back and forth motion and all that stuff, but I don't. I don't have one. I don't even have a starter motor with me right now. But that's that's how you do that. And you could put, you know, a nice um, on and off switch in here. I would probably put like a 50 amp on and off switch, to be honest. So to uh, recap, I'm going to go ahead and unplug it so all the bright lights are off. Okay. So the servo. Doesn't matter as long as the servo works. So you're going to go take it apart and burn a little hole in it or cut a little hole right here, wherever, just to get these wires out. And then you connect the red and black one to the bottom of the motor, just like how I did there. Come on, focus. There we go. Just like that. And then I did it on the other side, just like that. And those ones go into N1 and N2. And then for the enable, which is the, this one right here, goes back here to the 5 volt. And then your power wires. Can pull this up enough. Oh, they're just going to come out. Perfect. There we go. And they go to the uh, the positive wire goes to VMS and your negative wire, the black one, goes to ground. And like I said, it doesn't matter um, which way you have the motor hooked up. It doesn't matter because you should be able to swap it on the controller. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit that. But that's... That's how you take an H-bridge, the L298N, and turn it into a great big servo controller. I don't know the technical terms, I'm just very interested in this. That's how you set up one of these, and then I will be showing you guys the other one of how to do it. So, have a good night. Hopefully this helps somebody. And now you guys can make, you know, really giant remote control cars.